check how big it is. See if it's a reasonable size. That's, a, that's how big it should be. Browse. MC2005 SP3. As you can see, it's working. And I have and it's source pack 3, obviously. Okay, so what we do is we go next. We're going to add hot fixes. That's how you integrate the programs. We're going to remove some components, do some options and tweaks, and then at the end, a bootable ISO. So next. So here's what we're integrating. We're going to integrate Burnley Free 3.3, the latest version. All right, there you go. Um, C Cleaner, Defragler, EMDB, Firefox 4.0.1, Future X Imager, K Like Codec, Mega Pack, Open Office, Pigeon, Skype, Thunderbird, and VLC Media Player. All the latest versions. So we go open. And now you just like wait for it to integrate. And this is downloaded from winads.com. I'll post that in the description box. Next. Um, Alright. All right, let's just do that now for applications. Let's we don't need. Okay, so let's get rid of some things we don't need. We don't need the games. We don't need internet games. We don't need paint, pinball. You could use Photoshop. Paint's stu it's stupid. Take away the screen savers. Wordpad, I would say just keep it. Our drives don't touch that at all. Hardware support don't touch this at all, especially this. Now languages. What you do is you select the any language that's not your language, but you want to do this, like expand it. And as you can see, I'm doing this with the keyboard to make it a little bit faster. Now let's go Armenian. We're gonna just Armenian is just one, so that makes it a bit bit easier. Baltic. Getting rid of all those. The only one I always leave behind is Spanish, and for this sake, because of my Canadian viewers, I'm gonna leave French also. French and Spanish can stay. Since I have a lot of viewers that are Canadian. And the ISO will be in the description link on the mega upload. No activation is required. And, okay, so Hebrew. I always like to leave Hebrew. We're going to leave a couple languages here. Let's get rid of Indic, Turkic. Now, let's get rid of this, this, this. Let's get rid of Dutch. I don't. Yeah, I'll just leave it just in case for the sake for the sake of the YouTube viewers will leave all these alone. Multimedia. Let's remove images and backgrounds. Uh, mouse cursors, we don't need those, you can download those. Movie maker stinks. It runs just fine, as you can see it's not lagging at all. Okay, so we're gonna turn off speech support, turn off tablet. I could keep t support no tablet. Let's get the Windows sound theme. Ah. Now we scroll down. All right. Let's get rid of MSN Explorer, Outlook Express. Uh, I would say remove it, even though you need it for Alec for MS Office. I would say it's, it, it's something vital that you don't... It's not really that, that vital, because I would just say use Thunderbird, since I'm integrating Thunderbird, and use OpenOffice.org. It's much better, in my opinion. All right, let's remove Windows Messenger. Um, now we're going to remove... Don't remove Ubi unless if you have a corporate version of Windows, which is, this is not, so you don't remove that. Keep the color schemes. Remove the tour. Use your account pictures. Who uses those? Swiss pack messages. Security center. Actually, now let's remove it. It takes up a loss. Alright, let's get rid of that. Okay, anyhow, so you also want to remove Messenger. Oh, and remove Telnet. That's another thing you don't need. That's for only if you have dial up. 
and directories, you don't need those directories. Now, to make the setup go faster, let's do the Windows 2000 look for the setup. Disable this just in case if you want to use Windows XP Media Center Edition, you don't have a minimum of 256 megs of RAM, which I'm sure you probably do in all your computers. Patches, let's enable the UX Steam patch so you don't have to download it, makes it a little bit easier on you guys. Boot and shutdown, control, delete, and log on. Um, log on page, classic. Uh, desktop, we're only going to have it show my computer, my documents. Let's do my network pr places in recycle bin. And IE, we're not going to even bother with that. And here, let's, let's just select them all. This way it'll, it'll be easier for you guys. Alright. Performance. Yeah, you want to use some of those classic folders. You don't need that sidebar. I never used it anyway. I don't think you guys would really either, so. Visual effects. You want to disable that make that fast disable disable cursor shall we'll leave that alone uh, let's disable that disable that menu a uh, fade flat alright disable this put it on clear type and uh, for Windows Media Player, let's just have it accept the privacy statement so you don't have to click that. And we're good. 